Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, so first I'm talking about uh, Garuko Memories. I will try not to be excessively nostalgic about it. Um, but, uh, <laughs> so this is, the, this is the 12th year of Garuko. We, um, oh, by the way, who here is wearing an old Garuko t-shirt from a previous year? All right, we got some people. Does anyone have the 2007 shirt? Anyone? There was no 2007. There were really? 2007 was the first year. I, I've been just looking this up today. I didn't realize we did a t-shirt, though. There was a shirt. I don't think it was very good. <laughs> uh, 2008. Any 2008 shirts? You have a 2008? Steven, show up. There you go. Earliest shirt That's in the room. That's 2009. Turn around. 2009? Or what is that? So, somebody <laughs> close by to say 2009? All right. All right. Okay. Um, okay. Very brief capsule summary or whatever. Uh, I uh, uh, founded one of the first Ruby meetups in New York City. We were running it every month. It kept on getting bigger and bigger. People were meeting each other, having a lot of fun. For, I would say, maybe two years, everyone was like, Francis, this meetup's so much fun. We should run an annual conference. And I was like, that is a terrible idea, and I don't want to hear about it. <laughs> because I was like, that's so much work. Why would you do that? That sucks. And we did it, and eventually, uh, and it was actually a ton of fun. Uh, and then we kept going. Um, I think that like uh, it's been really interesting to see one of the biggest things that's changed since 2007 is that at the time when we founded it, there were almost no good conferences for programmers. And I don't know, some of you have not been in the industry that long, some of you have not lived in New York that long. But in 2007, so many of the conferences were either like hardcore enterprise -y things, there was a lot of conferences where some VP, whatever, with like a million dollar of IT budget could go and some salesperson could buy them a steak dinner and then they would spend money. It was like vendor selection, but there were so few conferences where people would come and bring laptops and talk about code. Even back then, to get really like old man nostalgia about it, getting Wi-Fi in a, in a room for 200 people at once was actually a weird ask. So things have changed, much for, very much for the better. This is, uh, this is us planning the very first year. That's Trotter in the foreground, our friend, good friend Trotter Cashin, who uh, is in LA now. He left us for LA. He picked LA over New York. Can you believe that? This is Jay Phil. This is the first space we were in. Uh, in we were in Google Space for the first year. Uh, Jay Phillips giving a talk about adhesion. It was a, a voice over IP framework that connected in Ruby. This is Paul Dix at the time with a little stripe of bleach hair. Paul would go on to found InfluxDB. Uh, there's Brian Helmkamp on the left. Brian's back here. He would uh, go on to found Code Climate. Uh, Chris Wansroth, who founded this company called GitHub. At the time he was here giving the talk, GitHub, I think, was like six months old. Uh, I think they're doing OK now. <laughs> and Sandy Metz, who uh, not a lot of people know this, but if I am correct, Sandy Metz gave her first solo talk ever at Garuko in 2009. Um, playing a small part in getting her to have, have her career is maybe one of the best accomplishments of my professional life, I will say. I'm very and happy props to also, props to Jesse Cohen, who uh, convinced uh, just going to ask to convince Sandy at a, at a meeting up in Boston to come and do it. That's right. She wasn't sure if she had enough material. And we were like, you're crazy. Come to New York. We're buying you a ticket. Um, it's, it's one of the things that's been interesting, uh, and I'm not an organizer anymore, by the way, uh, right? But uh, it's been interesting sort of seeing people who've been here in a long time, people who are coming this year even for the first year, uh, one of the reasons that Ruby was so important to me, one of the reasons the, con the meetup and the conference were so important to me, it is very rare, it continues to be rare, to find a space that matches both an intellectual ambition with a recognition of sort of the emotional realities. We are programmers, we're not machines. We work on machines, right? We have needs, we want to be fascinated by our work, we want to be respected, but we also want to feel like there's a craft and even a sense of beauty to the things we do every day. Um, this is apparently the last Garuko, so I've been told. Uh, so, you know, whatever you end up, wherever you end up going next, whatever other Ruby meetups, whatever Ruby conferences, other languages, I hope you can retain that sense that there's a, there's a deep belief here, right? That this, this, in spite of all the money, in spite of all the craziness, there continues to be a sense of beauty and a sense of human connection in the work we do. <clears throat> right on. That's my, that's my finale Thanks. unicorn slide. And now, Thank <laughs> you.